originally when Photoshop CS5 um, was out, um, there wasn't many lens correction profiles available, but they put out an update. It's a beta, uh, beta update for Camera Raw, which includes a lot more profiles. They did also release the lens profile um, files that you would need to create your own and share with the uh, Creative Suite community. However, um, one of my favorite lenses to play with is the 14 to 24. Um, at one of my uh, trips to the Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia, I went the whole day using the 14 to 24 um, just for a different point of view. And the photo you see is one of those photos that I took with the 14 to 24. And uh, I'm going to show you that now the Camera Raw 6.1 beta automatically detects what camera I used and what lens I used. So to find the lens correction, you'll see there's a little icon over here that looks like a little lens. And if you put your mouse over it, it says lens corrections. So we click on that. And you can see right away it just says default, none, 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 and you can't click on them. You need to enable the lens profile corrections, and automatically it detected that I was using a 1424, a Nikon camera, and um, you know it's going to use the 1424 profile. So, did someone make this or did Adobe make this? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to assume Adobe. But if you uncheck it, you'll see the photo um, will actually go back to the original. And if we check it again, you see that little bit of stretch. Um, it's correcting for that um, distortion. I guess the other way you can do it is hitting the preview button too. It's really doing the same thing. You can just hit P. There's so many ways to do it. Um, However, um, I do like how this looks. It's a little less distorted. The 14 and 24 is pretty good for, as far as distortion goes at 14. Um, you gotta expect it to have some, but this isn't so bad. Um, so here we go. This is it. It's uh, corrected. Um, and I can use, I might as well just show you. I'll use the content aware fill um, right here. Oh, by the way, you can also do some more correcting. So if you see that the distortion is too much you can do some manual corrections as well so um, anyway we'll open the image and we'll get rid of the curl that's over down here so what we can do is let's just get it we're using the uh, content aware healing brush and we should see she'll go away and there you go no more girl. And you can do a little bit of touch up if you don't like what it's doing. You know, do a little more touch up. Big stone. Um, so that's really it. Anything else I should uh, try to get rid of in this photo? Let's see if there's any CCD spots. The D700 is pretty good for getting a dirty CCD. Um, actually, I think I was using a D3 this day, which is also very good at getting a dirty CCD. Um, looks like that's about it. See there's a rainbow coming through here. I love this photo. Um, I actually made this photo into an HDR. But uh, yeah, that's about it.